Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Um, as you could see in that quick little intro, that is a transmission valve body for the 2G Auto uh, DSM Trans. You can see I got the pan down. Trans pan gasket. Filter. Uh, always label it because I did this a while ago. So transmission pan bolts. And I got the front bumper out back. Alright, so... The reason why this is out is because you might have heard of the 2G DSM, the Drag Week DSM, uh, Tony, Tony's 2G. Um, he was having issues because he just swapped at the auto for that uh, specific event. And when he swapped at the auto, he was having issues. One of them was no reverse. And I think he had a couple other gearing issues, whether it was first gear, second gear, I forget. Um... So, we were hoping it was a valve body, so I quickly pulled my valve body. That's why I didn't have any footage of it, because I pulled it the other day. And I said the other day. In one day, in obviously an hour or whatever, it doesn't take that long to pull it. The worst part is just getting the fluid out. Um, I pulled it and brought it over to Tony's uh, dad's house. And he ended up swapping it in real quick took his old valve body out and voila he had reverse so he ended up using that for the uh drag week dsm to you know drag week 2g dsm and he had some issues during drag week with the motor but that really has nothing to do with this part of it um so yeah so this is the valve body that i let tony borrow he sent it back to me so the car has been on jack stands for a solid month, maybe. I think so. Because Drag Week was like... That was like early September, right around Labor Day. And today is September 30th. So, we're going to try and uh, get this bad boy off the jack stands today by installing all this back on. I don't know how much I'll film because it's kind of a dirty job and I'm under the car the whole time. But uh, lots of 10 millimeters on this uh, job. Even the uh, bolts inside. So, a lot of 10 millimeters. All right, and uh, here's a bunch more. So, it's dirty, I'm gonna have gloves on, so I really won't get a lot of camera footage, but I'll stop and, I'll stop and take a break and film a couple things on the way. All right, sorry about the long intro. Thanks for watching. Told you it's a messy job. All right, so, I put the valve body back on with only two bolts right now um i had to slide uh the sensor up and through for the transmission solenoids uh where's a good view it's hard to get a good view of it especially with that light down there but it comes up right there where my finger's pointing Oops. Slide that through, and then we'll connect it at the end. The connector's back there underneath the inner glue pipe. But I'm going to finish putting the rest of these bolts in. All right, and then we'll move on to the transmission pan. All right, guys, so I cleaned this really good to get the old gasket material off. Um, hit it with some brake cleaner inside. And I put all the bolts in here. One of the things you need to, if you ever do this, is to make sure that this dowel, there's some official name for it, but an IP, IPT video gave me the name. You should hear it go like this. It needs to be lined up. That dowel, this, this shifts left to right, east to west, and this is just a, uh, this has something to do with lining up, uh, I think your gear selector, if I am not mistaken. But the IPT video was really good. Uh, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description. So if you ever have to pull a valve body, um, that guy, he knows his stuff. But yeah, and then I took the old gasket material off of here. So basically, I'm going to get the trans pan back on. And then torque it to spec. And then we'll be uh, on our way to adding fluid and plugging everything back in. And, uh, yeah. All right, I'm out of breath. Trans filter is back in. Well, I 
finished up the car, the trans pan, as you can see, it's at night. I just thought I wanted to update you. But then, the battery was dead because the car sat for a month. So, hopefully get a jump started and move on from this project. And I got to top the fluid off with the car running. But I put a, a two or three quarts in it with the car cold. Back on the road. Just testing everything out. I made sure I had all gears. Sorry, it's nighttime. The video sucks. But she has uh, all gears. She has reverse. I even manually shifted it just to be sure. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, that's a wrap. I'm pulling her back into uh, the Eagle's Nest, and I'm actually gonna have to drive this to work tomorrow because the Durango is in the shop, and uh, just getting some warranty work done. But they need to keep it overnight, so the all-wheel drive spite it is the daily. All right, guys, appreciate you all tuning in, and uh, I'm out. Bye-bye.